Hi guys, in this video, let's talk about table lamps. Now, how do you choose your table lamps? Are there anything specific that you look for when you're choosing your table lamps? Well, for me, there are two things that I look at. I look at the height of the base of the table lamp and I look at the shade. Now, let's talk about the base of the table lamp. It's not so much the design that you need to consider. It's more so the height of the table lamp. Now you choose your table lamp based on the function you want it to perform. For example, if you want your table lamp to be able to function as a reading light, then it's best for you to look for a base that's high enough so that when it sits on your table, the shade will hit you just about at shoulder height. Now, I went against that rule that I generally use because believe it or not, I found this pair of lamp at one of my curb shops. And so it was too good to pass up. And uh, therefore the base isn't high enough. But then what I did was put the table lamps on books so that it augments the height and it, the shade will hit me just about at the right height so I can use it to function as a reading lamp. So you could do that too. If you, you see a great deal that you don't want to pass up, huh, go ahead, buy that lamp and get some books that you like in your decor and just put your table lamp on the books to augment the height of your base. Now, another thing that you want to consider is your shade. For example, if you have a lamp in the corner, like I do here, then you may want a shade such as this one that will not diffuse as much light. So you will get more light coming through the shade and therefore helping to light the corner of the space. But if you don't mind your light to be more focused down and up, then this shade would be fine for you. Now, another thing to consider when you're buying your table lamp is where does the bottom of the shade hit the base of your lamp? The best proportion for your lamp is when the bottom of your shade hits just about at the top of the base of your lamp. And this is Good for you to know, especially if you are purchasing your lampshade separate from your base. Also, the shape of the shade will be important when you're buying the your table lamp, especially if you're buying the shade separate from the base. Make sure that you have your base present to at least do a test run to see how it lines up and how it looks. Now this shade came with this lamp base. The proportions are fine. The shade hits the base just where it's supposed to hit the base. And the shape of the shade is fine for the shape of the base of the lamp. However, for my function in this space, it diffuses a little too much light therefore i want to change it out for a lighter color which will diffuse less light so i'll have a little more light dispersed in this corner and the um, up lighting and the down lighting which can be used for reading will be just as good it will also help to light up this corner here yes as it is right now it's a bit tone on tone and therefore my base doesn't pop as much so when i put something contrasting with the base it will pop the base will pop and it will add some more life to the space so i'll go ahead and change out the shade <laughs> There it is, guys. What do you think? I like it because not only does it, see, 
it gives much more light in the corner it doesn't diffuse as much light as the darker shade plus it helps the base of my lamp to pop because it's contrasting now i hope this information helps when you go to choose your table lamps if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and share with somebody thank you so much for subscribing if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please go ahead hit that button man hit that button subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos you take care now i'll see you in the next video